finish of 13.7. Just talk a little bit about uh, coming to Texas this weekend and what your expectations are. Um, you know, we've uh, had a lot of good runs at this track, and, and uh, you know, I enjoy uh, the, the surface is really good, um, real wide, and gives you a lot of options as a driver to, to find the speed and find a good balance. If your car doesn't work on the bottom, you can move around and try different entrances and see if you can help your car and maintain some track position before you have to get a chance to work on it again. But uh, it's a you know, it's a, just a fun track, great market for us. Uh, they uh, the promote the promotion and and, and uh, energy that uh, Eddie and his group show year in year out is uh, is, a, is a is a good standard uh, for for other tracks to really follow. And um, they they do uh, some unique things to get people excited about. Uh, races here and, and a lot of that a lot of times it's a lot of fun so you know it's a great market and people in this area have latched onto this track and really supported it over the years and it's a good success story for the sport so uh you know you'd like to come out here and run well being that it's uh you know not one of the you know traditional southeastern facilities that's been on the circuit for so long so you'd like to come out here and do well and we've been able to do that so just uh had some really fast cars the last couple of races here that i can remember one thing or another led to us not winning but uh we've had some top three cars here so we're excited about practice today and excited about getting an opportunity to work on the car again tomorrow and hopefully can uh put a good car on the on the grid for for sunday's race We'll go ahead and take questions for Dale. If you can please state your name and affiliation. And we're going to start with Shannon in the back. Shannon Spake, ESPN. Dale, with the Final Four taking place right down the street and uh, NASCAR going to an elimination process once the chase begins this season, I know it's a, it's a ways away, but how do you think that that's going to affect maybe the aggressiveness and, and maybe the desperation that drivers feel in those last 10? Well, I don't really know, you know. I don't think that, um, I don't think anybody really knows for sure exactly what, what kind of, you know, mentality you will have when you wake up in the morning before the races. It just kind of matters what side of bed you get out of. But, um, yeah, you, uh, we might be uh, extra cautious you know, trying to, you know, trying to navigate them, them, them races up to each elimination. We might be extra aggressive. I just really don't know for sure. And uh, you just want to finish as good as you can, obviously try to win. And, uh, you know, we were able to do that last year. And the way we ran last year, I thought in the chase was really, um, would be real profitable to a system like this. So. You know, maybe we won't change a thing. I, I just think you go out there and you try to be smart, uh, try to make good judgment as a person, as a driver. Just do the things you've been doing, whatever you think's working, and uh, hopefully that'll get it done. All right, we're going to go to Lewis Frank. 